Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video to show um, how to do a temp basal increase or decrease. So part of the Omnipod's function is to deliver a little bit of insulin every couple of minutes uh, for every hour. So it's like a little drip of insulin. It's called her basal insulin. Um, so the basal insulin is set up already in the Omnipod. It knows how much she should get per hour, depending on what time of day it is. But one thing you can do if she is very high or very low is you could temporarily decrease that amount of insulin being delivered or increase the amount of insulin being delivered depending on her um, blood sugar. So if she was say 4.1 going straight down, um, you could obviously give her sugar, but you could also along with that temporarily decrease the amount of insulin that she is getting in those moments um, so that we're not adding insulin uh, on top of an already low blood sugar. So to do that, you just turn it on, confirm that she is the correct person using it. Um, it right now it's looking for her pod and she's too far away, so I'm gonna skip that for now. Um, but you would just go to home and then you scroll down to where it says temp basil and we have a couple preset ones in there already so i have a preset one for an increase that's plus 30 percent and a preset one for a temp basil decrease so that one there is minus 30 percent so i would do something like that so if she was very low like below four and going straight down, I might choose to do something more than uh, minus 30%. I might choose to do something like minus 50% or minus 45%. You just have to keep an eye on her because she could go high very quickly with the basal being reduced that much. Um, so if we want to do a manual one, you just select manual. And here is your screen, so this is where you can do a temp basal increase or decrease. So if she was low and you wanted to do a decrease, then you just scroll down and start saying um, minus 5%, minus 20, minus 30. So I would start with probably a minus 30 would be one that you could use um, depending how low she's going. Um, but you could do up to, I don't think I've done anything more than minus 50%. Um, so if I chose minus 50%, I would say enter. And then it wants to know for how long you want to do that because you don't obviously want to do that indefinitely. Um, so it starts out with uh, 0.5 half an hour is its first option, uh, or you can do an hour. What I normally do is just select something like an hour or an hour and a half but I wouldn't let her go that long without checking her blood sugar. So let's say I, I selected an hour and then I confirm that she's too far away so it's not gonna be able to, to, live, to deliver that to her. So it's gonna say communication error. Um, but if she was next door to me and she got that insulin, then um, she what I would do is I would give her that make sure that it was delivered. And then in the status screen, it's gonna say temp basal decrease. She might've gotten that because she just walked by. So I'm gonna cancel it. So then once you see her blood sugar is coming back up and you don't want this temp basal to be on there anymore, then you just go down to where it says suspend or cancel. And you select that. And then you say uh, cancel temp basal. Confirm. And again, she's too far away. So I probably should go and find her so I can turn off that temp basal decrease. The other option that was in there was to suspend the basal. I've never done that. So that would only be uh, in a really bad situation where she was very extremely low and you wanted just to shut it off completely. Then you would go in there to that same place and say, um, temper or suspend the insulin delivery altogether. So that would be for a very extreme low. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd send that to you. Thanks.